At the Defense International Armored Vehicles Conference 2025 held in Farnborough, UK, the US company Moog showcased its reconfigurable integrated weapons platform or IWP integrated into the Supercat High Mobility Transporter HMT and the Dingo 3 armored vehicles, marking the first operational demonstration of the RIWP outside the United States. These two vehicles were presented as potential candidates for the British Army's ground-based air defense program, which aims to meet requirements for short-range air defense and counter-unmanned aerial systems. The Supercat HMT and Dingo 3 have also been proposed for the British Army's Land Mobility Program LMP. This program aims to streamline the fleet by reducing the number of vehicle chassis types to 15 by 2030. The program focuses on consolidating more than 10 types of protected patrol and light utility vehicles into three common-based platforms, replacing aging systems like the Land Rover in Pinsgower. This modernization effort is intended to simplify the fleet while supporting multiple roles with fewer more versatile platforms. The Supercat All-Terrain Mobility Platform ATMP has been identified as a low-risk option for the LMP due to its existing service history, with nearly 1,000 units in operation since 1988. The ATMP supports 4x4 and 6x6 configurations, offers a payload capacity of 4,000 kg, and has a gross vehicle weight of 12,000 kg. It measures 7.1 meters in length, has a cruising range of 800 kilometers, and can achieve a top speed of 120 kilometers per hour. The vehicle includes an armored cabin with ballistic and blast protection for four crew members and can be adapted for roles such as mobile fire support and logistics transport. The Dingo 3, developed by KNDS Deutschland, is based on a Unimog chassis with a V-Hull design to improve resistance to mines and improvised explosive devices. It is available in 4x4 and 6x6 configurations, with the latter offering increased payload capacity and space for up to 12 crew members plus equipment. The vehicle is powered by a six-cylinder turbo diesel engine, paired with automatic transmission and a central tire inflation system. The Dingdo 3's modular structure allows for the integration of various weapon systems, including Starstreak missile canisters and the RIWP turret. Already used for the Striker M Show Rad, the reconfigurable integrated weapons platform is a modular turret system designed to integrate various weapon systems and sensors to counter multiple threats, including drones and helicopters. It was demonstrated at the conference equipped with Thales High Velocity Missile HVM, also known as Starstreak, a Northrop Grumman M230 LF 30x113 mm Bushmaster cannon, and a 7.62 mm machine gun. Additional capabilities include the integration of lightweight multi-role missiles and an L3MX series electro-optical-slash-infrared sight. Moog stabilization technology reduces the impact of shocks and vibrations during operations over rough terrain, and the turret's modular design enables the integration of new weapons and sensors without requiring significant redesign. The Starstreak missile, a key feature of the RIWP's configuration showcased at the conference, has been effectively used in Ukraine for aerial and armored targets. It employs three tungsten dart submunitions guided by laser beams, with a range of 7 kilometers and speeds exceeding Mach 3. This missile system is designed to counter low-flying aircraft, helicopters, and unmanned aerial systems. It is manufactured by Thales Air Defense and can be shoulder-fired or mounted on platforms for deployment. The addition of XM-1211 proximity-fused ammunition for the M230 LF cannon could enhance the RIWP's effectiveness against smaller and more maneuverable drone targets as part of the British Army's ground-based air defense GBAD program. The British Army's GBAD program is part of a broader modernization effort to address evolving aerial threats. Within this framework, the Land GBAD initiative focuses on SHORAD, medium-range air defense and counter-small uncrewed aircraft systems, as well as partly replacing the Stormer HVM sent to Ukraine. The program includes the Sky Saber system, which has replaced the Rapier system. Sky Saber incorporates the common anti-air modular missile, Saab's Giraffe Agile Multi-Beam Radar, and Raphael's modular integrated C4I air and missile defense system, enabling beyond visual range engagements. The program also prioritizes interoperability with NATO allies and a strong command and control architecture to counter diverse threats effectively. The Supercat HMT and the Dingo 3 each offer advantages for the Land Mobility Program LMP and the Ground-Based Air Defense Initiative when equipped with the RIWP turret, making them serious contenders in their respective categories. 
The Supercat HMT benefits from a proven service history with nearly 1,000 units in operation since 1988, establishing it as a reliable and low-risk choice to modernize the British Army's fleet of vehicles. Furthermore, its modular design allows for various configurations, including the use of the RIWP for short-range air defense applications. The recent introduction of the armored closed cab variant aligns with the LMP's objective to streamline the British Army's vehicle fleet by reducing the number of core platforms, thereby simplifying logistics and maintenance. The Dingo 3, on the other hand, offers exceptional crew protection and operational versatility, making it a strong contender for roles requiring high survivability under the LMP. Its V-hull design and Unimog chassis provide superior mine and IED resistance, critical for modern combat scenarios. The modular nature of the Dingo 3 supports various weapon systems, including the Starstreak missile and RIWP, making it highly adaptable for GBAD applications. The 6x6 variant's larger payload capacity and ability to transport up to 12 crew members provide significant advantages for multi-role operations. While both platforms bring unique strengths, the Dingo 3's heavier protection and the Supercat HMT's established operational track record position them as complementary options, potentially serving different but critical needs within the British Army's modernization initiatives. The United Kingdom Ministry of Defense has launched the Land Mobility Program, an ambitious project aimed at modernizing its fleet of utility vehicles, currently composed of Land Rover and Pinsgauer models. The primary objective is to implement a light mobility vehicle with combat capabilities based on a common platform. This program includes production, supply, in-service support, and associated training to ensure long-term operational readiness. As part of this effort, the UK Ministry of Defence will initiate the first phase, consisting of a preliminary market consultation, inviting interested companies to provide key information for the selection process. Evaluation criteria include the requirement for full operational capability at the time of service entry, knowledge of current market capabilities, and an analysis of sustainment costs throughout the vehicle's life cycle, among others. During the DVD 2024 conference, held last September in Bedfordshire, UK, the Ministry of Defence confirmed that the bidding process will begin in November 2025, with the first platforms expected to be selected by October 2026. The program covers four main categories LMP Heavy 500 vehicles weighing between 20 and 40 tons, LMP Medium 2000 vehicles up to 20 tons, LMP Light 2500 vehicles up to 10 tons and LMP Utility 3000 vehicles up to 7 tons. The LMP program aims to renew the British Army's utility transport fleet and includes a sub-program called the Light Tactical Mobility Platform LTMP with specific requirements. For LTMP Light 156 all-terrain vehicles will be acquired, featuring a minimum speed of 40 km per hour, a payload capacity of 270 kg, and a ground clearance of 180 mm. For LTMP Medium an initial purchase of up to 48 units is expected, with the potential to reach 863 vehicles, all equipped with diesel engines.